first of all, thank you so much for inviting me. It's my pleasure to be here. And I hope, you know, for everybody can maybe learn a little more. We are, uh, you know, in the same community. So, you know, I know everybody wants to know, you know, what is happening in our community as well, uh, you know, to see how can we maybe assist and help, help each other. So as Mary mentioned, my name is Janet Milashkovic and I am a program director with Catholic Charities Refugee Resettlement Office. Uh, Catholic Charities Refugee Resettlement Office have started the services in 19, uh, 1975. So Refugee Resettlement, RAC for Re Refugee Resettlement exists in 1975. So with, uh, you know, through the, all these years from, from, from that point to, you know, today we have resettled refugees from uh, uh, many, many different countries. Who is a refugee? A refugee is a person who has fled his or her uh, country of the origin because of well-founded fear of persecution based on race, religion, nationality, political opinion, or membership in a particular social group. And uh, uh, of course, definition of uh, refugee include people who have left their homes only to seek a more prosperous life, such uh, uh, you know, the people who are called as uh, economic uh, immigrants. So that, uh, you know, with this, uh, uh, you know, definition, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, we say the economic immigrants, that's uh, the one term, uh, you know, maybe what we see, yeah, very often they're called, uh, uh, they enter without uh, um, inspection or without the status or, uh, so that's a different. Uh, and also we have immigration, which uh, US citizens, permanent residents actually file a petitions for their brothers, sisters, uh, spouses, you know, and, uh, parents, uh, you know, which is another, uh, again, another category of the, uh, of the people who come as an immigrant. So refugees are, you know, the complete difference and they are not immigrants, they are migrants. And how does that work? Uh, we do not make the, uh, the decision how many people you know, the United States receives as refugees. Every year, presidents makes a determination how many people uh, should be admitted uh, to United States. Uh, decision is usually made by the uh, October 1st of each year. That's where our fiscal uh, year starts. So first refugees, they have to be in uh, the third country and then they have to be recognized by United Nations High uh, Commission for the Refugees to, uh, 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 as, as a refugees. So once they are recognized as a refugees, then they are sent to uh, the resettlement uh, countries. Um, you know, we have a United Kingdom, Canada, um, United States, etc. You know, there are a number of countries who do resettle the refugees. Then uh, uh, they are interviewed by Department of State. Then uh, they are also um, interviewed uh, the Department of Homeland Security. They go the, the, uh, to the, uh, you know, vetting process, uh, background checks, uh, you know, all before they are referred to the voluntary agencies. So uh, United States currently have a nine different voluntary agencies. And one of them, United, it's a United States uh, uh, Conference of Catholic Bishops under whose auspices we are uh, resettling. But for the diocese of the, uh, of the Rockford, which we do cover uh, 11 counties, uh, we are only one refugee settlement uh, agency here. So we go up down to the um, Galena and, uh, you know, cover Elgin and uh, Aurora. So once uh, 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 the, the case is referred to uh, our agency, uh, you know, we, we receive biographical information and medical information about the case, language, they speak education, uh, uh, and uh, uh, um, then we have to 
verify or reject the case. Of course, verification and rejection are based on uh, our capacity. You know, we serve uh, depends as well on the medical issues the case might have that we might not have in the Rockford. So that would be, and of course, you know, available housing, uh, uh, you know, for depends for the which size of the family, you know, the, um, uh, we are asked to, to assure the case. And how do we serve our clients? Okay, uh, we have pre-arrival, post-arrival services. So for each refugee who comes, we have to find the uh, first step to secure the housing. Then we have to furnish the housing uh, with the furniture, uh, with the, the personal household items. I believe that uh, Mary, uh, you have a list of the household items, you. you know, what we have. And uh, uh, then uh, so have ready to eat meal when they come and do have at least uh, for the week to 10 days because now due to the, all the pandemics, everything gets uh, in a delay, all the assistance they can receive. So then, uh, you know, to have a culturally appropriate food for the, uh, for the families. So we are always looking, you know, for the household items. Uh, with the cases who are arriving now in a such a short notice, we um, might be uh, in a need to put them in an emergency housing as well. Uh, as they are resettled, the final uh, uh, the decision is not yet made. So state is working. I know we are working with the, you know, with, with, with the feds as well to make uh, uh, the the. Afghans who are going to who are leaving the base and uh, resettling our community to be eligible for the maybe for the public benefits, food stamps, medical card, you know, possible maybe refugee cash, which is uh, you know usually uh, for for eight months. However, uh, at this moment, that is still not um, applicable. So decision is somewhere in the air. We are hoping it's going to pass. So then uh, we are actually collecting uh, the donations toward the housing. You know, I say, you know, monetary donations, uh, anybody who might have some apartments or, you know, the house, they can take them at least maybe the temporary. Uh, and I'm not looking really in a temporary housing that somebody offers their home. You know, they can come and live with me. We, have, we are really, you know, looking for someone where they can, they can live, you know, alone. Or maybe you have a connections with the landlords. So landlords to contact us who are willing to, you know, work any, any type of the housing, you know, the, the, the offers we can, we can actually place them in a, such a short notice. In ideal, world, uh, we receive approximately 10 days, uh, at least 10 days arrival notice uh, uh, before the refugee arrives. And that's where we have to start, uh, you know, the, our uh, services for, for refugees. Currently, we are also uh, assisting the Afghans who are resettling the Afghans who are currently in our military bases. Uh, and with these cases, we are a little more in a speed dial. There is no time between assurance and uh, uh, you know, arrival notice is very, very short time. Our goal is to, to put them in a permanent housing you know, immediately, but since arrival notices are very, very short, sometimes 20, 24 hours, maximum maybe you know, three days, maximum you know, before the arrival, arrival notice is very soon, so it is, uh, you know, it it gives us uh, uh, it gives the hard puts us in a hard position to have a, a apartment available, permanent apartment available. You know, in a, you know in such a short notice. Now, some cases uh, do have a U.S. ties, and you know we are working really hard with the U.S. ties uh, to help us with finding the housing or temporary housing them. You know, and we work with the landlords to. Uh, who are willing to keep the house, have available houses and willing maybe to keep the houses for. So that's, uh, you know, in the short term, what is happening right now with the Afghans who are 
uh, currently in the military bases in the United States. Just as uh, you know, for the history of the refugee arrivals, you know, to to um, our to Rockford area, uh, we have uh, started, I believe, with the Vietnam, and then you know that's actually when the refugees settled in the United States was was, was established. You know, of course, you know, we had it from Poland, we had from uh, Burundi. Currently, we have a lot from you know the the, the, the uh, from Congo. We had the. Uh, uh, you know, the refugees arrived from Ivory Coast, from Iraq, from Syria, uh, from uh, um, uh, Burma uh, for the years, former Yugoslavia, the Bosnian refugees, refugees from Kosovo, the Ukrainians, Sudanese, Somalis. Uh, um, so that's uh, pretty much wherever, wherever we see, you know, wherever the travel was, uh, you know, the war, that's uh, what. Uh, you know, we have over the years, we have resettled uh, refugees. As I came as a refugee, you know, as well from former Yugoslavia back in 1994, and I was resettled with my husband and my children uh, as a refugee to the Catholic Charities. So uh, refugees come here to make their home. Uh, they are uh, very much into the uh, education, you know, to uh, their children, you know, to um, educate their children. We have uh, so many from so many different countries. You know, there are nurses, there are doctors, there are dentists, there are engineers, there are nurses, they are production workers. They are so it is, you know, really, uh, they, they are really doing well. We have very, uh, the employment, uh, very high rate uh, of the employment. I mean, they're here to go to work. They become uh, consumers very, uh, very, is very quick. And then uh, uh, as well, uh, most of the refugees uh, within the five years from arrival, they buy their, their homes. Become homeowners. We have a number of them who have opened the businesses, you know, as well. You know, so uh, they are doing well in our area. We definitely do need to need volunteers. We are also looking, you know, if you are with a community organization or with a, a different congregation that maybe show the interest in co-sponsoring the family which the co-sponsoring we can, you know, talk in, the, you know, some other time about you know, to have, uh, you know, what will that entail. But uh, if we are looking for the volunteers who can uh, provide the ESL classes, uh, we are asking for the commitments for the two days per, per week, or maybe even, uh, you know, do the tutoring. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, but all of uh, I mean, we are looking for the volunteers who can help with the preparing the apartments, collecting, you know, donations, securing the apartments uh, in any fields, help with the, uh, you know, take the children to register for, you know, for, for a school, uh, helping them with their medical appointments, um, and taking them to the grocery stores. And in general, it's actually what, you know, uh, you know, everything what, uh, you know, if you can imagine that you are starting your life again, if you move from city to city and imagine if you don't even know the language. So, you know, we need the help with, uh, you know, with uh, all the aspects. Now, when uh, we talk about the ESL uh, classes, we, are to, we used to have an ESL class open in our site. And unfortunately, due to the COVID, we kind of, you know, we lost the volunteers. We have few who are, you know, we are working right now on, uh, uh, we have uh, the, our, uh, uh, the paperwork we have to complete with the volunteers, and of course, uh, the, you know, background check and, and some training. So we are hoping to get back to, you know, to, to start that. As well, uh, uh, we uh, also do the cultural orientation classes. So we would more than welcome if we have a volunteer who can actually take on or help with the cultural orientation, um, uh, the classes or, or uh, cultural orientation of the individuals. 
Uh, currently, I am also uh, in a need for, uh, I have few open positions, which, you know, people can contact me directly and, you know, we can, uh, we can discuss about that. I am looking for someone who speaks Dari and Pashto, possible for someone who speaks Arabic, uh, you know, as well. Uh, volunteers who speak the different languages. Uh, the one thing just I ha really have to mention that uh, if anybody is going to, uh, let's say, volunteer with uh, 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 dropping off, maybe picking up the family from the bus station, dropping off the items, any direct contact uh, they would love to have with the, the upcoming refugees, then they have to have the our volunteer uh, requirement uh, fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And and what is that requirement? Well, it's a, 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 a the volunteer application chair, uh, mm -hmm. you know your background check. Once that's clear, we need a copy of the driver license. Once that's clear, then uh, we have to go through the, um, the, the every individual have to go uh, through the safe environment training, mm -hmm. which is protecting our children, mandatory uh, uh, the reporter. And then uh, uh, also, you know, we'll just go over the confidentiality. And then uh, also, if you are thinking about possibility to maybe help also transporting the clients, then we will need a uh, uh, your copy of your insurance and the policy, and uh, uh, liability. I mean the insurance, uh, the bodily injury. Uh, uh, you have to have 100, 300 in order to be able to transport uh, mm -hmm. our clients. And as well, if anybody knows any attorneys who can actually help us with the uh, asylum cases or screening documents, please. Mm -hmm. Let us contact us. The drop off location would be uh, Catholic Charities Refugee Settlement Office, 6116 Wolford Village Drive. Uh, we are Suite A, so intersection of the state and Wolford. So what can really, really help? is if we have a uh, kitchen items, you know, cooker sets, silverware, um, uh, um, you know, okay, plates, garbage cans, you know, that's uh, a little, you know, harder to very often we forgot that, you know, we, you know, shower curtains and uh, uh, rings, bath rack, towels. Uh, then also we do, uh, I'm looking for the bedding for linen. Uh, and, you know, the comforters, um, sheets, twin and queen size, they can be gently used, but uh, I, the preference is, I, the it? preference is really to have the new, yes. because, uh, you know, we all have a different view of the gently used. Yes. So I, uh, I would really, yeah. you know, I would really prefer at this time that my, since we are really doing, uh, you know, work at Bella, that actually, you know, do the new thing and we'll appreciate the gift cards. I'm hoping, you know, we'll have a, enough volunteers or my staff or myself will go in the purchase of the items, like a mobile gas cards. Okay. So as well, the monthly bus passes are welcome. Cell phones, prepaid cell phones. I, I'll invite all of you to come one day to stop in our, in our office when we perhaps have, um, you know, maybe cultural orientation class or maybe, you know, the ESL class, or let's say that you from university want to come and do the meet and greet session. I think you will have your, your heart change because uh, you know we all come here to live to make a life so we need the friends we need to melt you know around and uh, uh, and you know without uh, the community and individuals actually uh, being involved in our lives uh, it would be really hard to to succeed